But I've just grasped hold of the left ovary and on the screen in front of me, the whole thing is the ovary and then clearly we have in the centre of the ovary a nice corpus luteum with a central lacuna or cavity or hole which is fluid filled and then we can see various follicles around the ovary. We can see a nice big follicular structure here and then several smaller follicles running around the periphery of the ovary. So now what I'm going to do, I normally leave the big one to last but because it would be good on film I'll give you the big follicle first. I'm positioning the big follicle here just where the needle will emerge out of the probe. So the needle will go straight into the middle of the follicle, suck out the follicular fluid and then hopefully retrieve the oocyte that was within the follicular structure. Okay, so where are you ready? Yeah. Right, okay. So what I do is make sure the greatest diameter of the follicle is exactly where the needle will emerge. Pedal, start the vacuum going. And now on the camera behind me, hopefully we'll be able to see the tip of the needle just emerging into the centre of the follicle. Here it comes. And the follicular fluid collapsing as it gets sucked into the needle, down the tube, and into the water bath. Hopefully we'll find that one later under the microscope. Okay, I'm now going to move the ovary around a little bit and start getting some of the smaller follicles. Hopefully we'll be able to see that on the screen on the screen later as well. There's a grid on the screen and one of the lines on the grid is exactly where the needle emerges so that gives me a good starting point to know exactly what, where to aim. So I'm gently rotating the ovary around, moving around the surface and picking off all the little follicles around the circumference. Okay. After collecting a few, we always flush through fluid through the tube to make sure we don't get any blood clots that may block the tube. And we want to get those oocytes, in fact cumulus oocyte complexes, as soon as we can into the water bath at 35 degrees. The tubes we collect in are then simply poured through a filter and what hasn't gone through the filter is then tipped into a dish and searched under the microscope. The oocytes we retrieve will then go tomorrow to Nottingham University. They'll be matured overnight and then hopefully fertilised tomorrow. In about a week's time we find out how many blastocysts or morulas, fertilised embryos we've retrieved. So in between each session what I'm doing is lining up some nice follicles ready for the next collection session. Yeah. Oops. Got it? Firm. Good. Pedal. Good girl. Steady, steady, steady. Good girl. Okay, Ross, got that. Thank you. 
So on the screen, hopefully here now, you can see that the corpus luteum and the lacuna are still there, but there are very much fewer follicles around the edge. You will also see um, some uh, follicles which have been collected from, but are now filling up with blood, and we've got some slightly cloudy fluid inside them, rather than the dark black fluid that was originally there. That was the big follicle I collected originally, and we can see some slightly cloudy fluid or blood now filling that space. So we don't want to go back in there again, we can leave that alone and concentrate on those follicles with the dark black fluid in. The design of this handle helps Ros put it into that hole without jagging the end of the needle on any sharp edges, which is, which is really useful. And, and she doesn't stab my finger anymore either, which is, which is great. Okay, pedal. Steady, 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 steady. Not many left now. Just might have one more go. One of these little fellas left there. I'm going to rotate the ovary around to get the follicle close to where the needle will emerge. Just trying to find the little fella. That's the that's the big fella that's gone now. Steady, 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 steady. Okay. Okay. Yep. Got it? Yeah. Pedal. So at the end of the procedure, here we have the ovary, just the corpus luteum left. Not many follicles there. That's the left ovary done. I'll just check back over at the right. There we go. There we go. That's the right ovary in shot now, and you can clearly see there's nothing left on that ovary, just just normal ovarian stroma with no structures left at all. Okay, so we take the probe out, then I just uh, shimmy over to the lab and I get a polystyrene box which is preheated. We take the fluid over there straight away and search for the oocytes.